Is it worth it? So this man right here, Keith Haygood, was attacked trying to help a woman who was involved in a verbal dispute with another man while he was getting off the train. He was just coming home from work and he saw this woman being verbally attacked. He said it looked like the man was going to hit her. And at the end of the day, my question is this. Is it worth it in this day and time to get involved as a man with another man and woman who are arguing? This man now has a broken jaw, fractured orbital, and a big ass gash in the back of his head. The cool part about it is, while this man is laid out hurt, the woman didn't even stick around and wait for him to get help. She left. Is it really worth it in this day and time? Simping ain't easy. Shalom, Kohlaila, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekwakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh. In the name of his son and the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with a Another lesson, meddle not in another man's affairs. It's no individual's business as to what goes on in another man's household. Point blank, period. I mean, who knows? This woman could have been caught with signs of adultery, something on her phone, a text message. A voicemail. And here it is. You in the hospital beat half to death over a woman that you don't even know. That does not belong to you. Let's go into the word. Unbelievable. <clears throat> so the word is the law that we follow. Sirach 11 verse 7. Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. Understand first and then rebuke. So this is jumping the gun. First of all, into something that is none of your business. None of your business. Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. The truth. Understand first and then rebuke. Answer not before thou hast heard the cause. Neither interrupt men in the midst of their talk. Strive not in a matter that concern thee not. And sit not in judgment with sinners. So you become an evildoer. We become evildoers when we're meddling in another man's affairs. I mean, if she committed adultery, you've just shown that you consent with that act. Now your hands are dirty. The Bible says, he that justifieth the wicked. Let's get that. I'll get that next. <clears throat> let's read this. Strive not in a matter that concerneth thee not, and sit not in judgment with sinners. My son, meddle not with many matters, for if thou meddle much, Thou shalt not be innocent, and if thou follow after, thou shalt not obtain, neither shalt thou escape by fleeing. Does it look like he escaped? No. Looked like he just got out of a boxing match with Mike Tyson. Let's get this one. <clears throat> 
So that is meddling in an, another man's affairs. <clears throat> Let's go here. I think it's Proverbs 17 and 15, maybe. Yes. Proverbs 17 and 15. He that justifieth the wicked and he that condemn the just, even they both are abomination to the Lord. That's clear. You don't know what this woman has done. You don't know the intricacies or the inner details of their relationship. You've just, you've just earned yourself the biggest simp of the year award. The biggest simp of the year award. Let's get this one. We're going to go back. Let's go to 1 Peter 4, verse 14. If ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of the Most High resteth upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified, suffering for truth's sake, not being a simp. Suffering for the ministry. That's honorable. Let's go to verse 15. First Peter 4, verse 15. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or as a thief or as an evil doer or as a busybody in other men's affairs. So the Bible just showed you what that evildoer is. Meddling in other men's affairs. Probably looked upon that woman with lust, a married woman. Now you're trying to earn a Captain save -a award. It's not worth it, Jake. Let's get this one. First Peter 4, verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glory the Most High on this behalf. So we suffer for truth's sake. Let's close out here. One moment. Let's get this one. We're going to Deuteronomy 32 and 39. And we'll close out there. When you look at this through the spirit, the Lord did this. Everything happens based on an order. A spiritual decree, wounds, sickness, death, wellness, healing. Let's read this. We'll close out here. Deuteronomy 32. Let's go to verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. The Lord did this. He too with a left jab and then came around with a right hook. That's what's happening to these bug outs. We're in the time of turn up. And that includes judgments. The Bible says every day doth his judgments go forth. Simping ain't easy. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rikwa Kadash, 
Baraka Thumb. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwame Yasharala. And the Bad Baba. We got next. Lord willing. Shalom.